Yo, what's up guys? It is Deltray. We are back with some more Fire Emblem Fates Lunatic Conquest. Now, you already read the title. You know what that means. You know what that means. So I decided that I could just get a bunch of superpowered units, okay, and then steamroll the final map. No problem. But what fun would that be? We've already spent so much time training a bunch of winners like Dude, Elise the Broken, Silas the Average, <laughs> Laslo the Pain in My Ass. So what sense would it make for me to go ahead at the very final moments of the game and just replace all of those guys with a bunch of broken ass kids so that's not what we're gonna do today we're gonna end this before we do though just a few really quick things so I actually wanted to pose a question to you guys because I saw a lot of people who were well it, it was about 50 50 okay so I was talking about Steph Savant in the last part and it seemed like about half the people saw things my way and then the other half just really hated this guy I mean like outright hated it thought it was utter bullshit so to the people that do not like the skill, I wanted to ask, what would you do differently? And I, I don't mean that in like a, like a snarky, sort of sarcastic way. I mean, honestly, genuinely, because I'm, I'm more than open to them trying new things in the future. Don't get me wrong, but I really think that it worked out for the best in that case. And if you disagree, I'd be curious how you would produce a similar effect without having it be totally unfair. Because to me, a mechanic like that just encourages smarter play. Like I said, I'm not going to sit here and repeat everything that I said, but the gist of it is I think that it discourages turtling and that is good, in my opinion. For a mode like Lunatic anyways. Because it'd be kind of crazy if it was down there on normal mode, I'll say that for sure, but this is supposed to be the hardest difficulty, and I think that the game should push you as a player under these circumstances. All that said though, we just got to buy some crap and we are good to go. We have the 20,000 gold that we picked up at the end of the map. And we also have these S-rank weapons that are totally useless, like I said. Uh, not sure. <laughs> Did I explain how the Bifrost works or not? It sucks. It only revives the last fallen unit, like the very last. You don't get to select. It has to be the last unit that died. And you have to use it on the map. If you complete the map and move on with your life, like most people probably would on the first time you play this game, because it doesn't say anything. Oh, it does. No, okay. In fairness, it does say that. It does tell you outright how terrible it is. <laughs> it has to be the current battle. So even if you have an S-Rank staff user, it's no good to you if you complete the map and try to revive them later. You must use the turn right then and there. Also, I did see somebody say that they can, like you can capture S-Rank weapon users, and that is a good idea. That's a good idea. That's the only real way you're getting any use out of these, unless you, unless you really go out of your way. I don't want to say it's impossible. I don't want to say it's impossible. But, it's not very likely. I didn't buy a goddamn thing. <laughs> God, the commentators here is trying to do everything at once. What we need to do, though, we're going to buy a Syrup Robe, a Draco Shield, one Entrap Staff, one Freeze Staff. Did I need anything else? I actually don't think I need anything else at all. Well, besides Tonics. Now, I did look up what the stats of the enemies on the final map are, just so that I wouldn't be underprepared. I didn't really... We haven't really figured out what we're doing yet, but it shouldn't be too bad. And stay tuned, because we are going to see my patented strategy for <laughs> blasting through Chapter 27. Because every time you fail at the end game, you have to do Chapter 27. But it's really easy if you do what I'm about to do. <laughs> so yeah, we're not getting Forrest or anything. I, was, I really wanted to get him because he would actually be really good here. But like I say, it, how can we stop now? A truly gripping narrative to be sure. Chapter 27, The Empty King. Dude opens the door to discover the throne room. Discovering the true enemy that waits for them. The creature within the room is unlike anything she's ever seen. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. I sure hope he doesn't die in one round. That would sure be embarrassing, especially after all the build-up to this guy. <laughs> For chapter 27, The Empty King. Oh god. I hate the paladin model for girls, dude. It's so silly. It's so silly. It wouldn't be so bad if the camera didn't <laughs> do stuff like this. And in all fairness, dude is really the only one that would have this problem, but good god. Is everyone ready? Wait, wait, wait a second. I forgot my pants. <laughs> this will be our most trying battle yet, but it should hopefully be our last, for sure. I urge you to stay on your guard. Well? Dude, are you really completely, absolutely sure about all this? About father being a monster? Yeah. I wish it weren't so, Elise, but it's the truth. King Garon is no longer of this world. 
I know it's not easy to hear, but that is what Azura and I have discovered. Hmm. Hmm. Sounds like bullshit. But you do sound pretty sure of yourself. Still, I can't help but be skeptical. Why didn't you tell us earlier? Why keep it a secret? And why are you two the only ones who know about this alleged truth? I like how Leo's just grilling her too, because this is, <laughs> this is a pretty wild explanation when you think about it. Oh yeah, our dad's just a slime monster, no big deal. It's hard to explain. That's, um... There are answers to your questions, Leo, but we are unable to disclose them. All we can say is that the two of us were able to see through King Garon's disguise. I really do hate the Vala curse, though. That's like, oh man. That's, that's probably one of the biggest ass pulls in this game, in all honesty, because if not for that, then the plot would have been over immediately. And I'm still not entirely sure why it is that we can't go back there. I... Was that explained? I actually don't think that it was. And aren't the Deep Realms themselves inside Vala, I thought? Or is it... We had to come here to this throne room in order to show you what we have seen. Hmm. We had to come all the way here just to learn the truth. Really, darling? Right. Really, I know how it sounds, but it's the truth. I couldn't have made it through all this if I wasn't completely sure. I've been longing for the moment when I could finally share this with you. Xander and Leo, Elise and Camilla, all of you. I know we've been through a lot, and this is a huge shock, but please, I'm begging you to believe me. Why don't we just go in? <laughs> I need you to see what's behind these doors with your own eyes. Hmm. Let's do this. So be it, dude. You have led us this far. The least we can do is follow you just a little further. I'm choosing to trust you, sister. However, you know what will happen if this all turns out to be an elaborate ruse. If you mean to trap us, your siblings who have loved you all these years, you will be punished just like any other traitor. Need I remind you what happened to Iago five minutes ago? I will not allow anyone, even you, to bring harm to my family or the Kingdom of Nor. If you can accept those terms, as I trust you will, let us proceed. Yeah. Of course, Xander. If I were lying, I would deserve no better than a traitor's death. Let's go. I need all of you to see this. To see what father, the great King Garon, has become. And boy, is he ugly. Look at this guy. I gotta keep it a buck with you guys. I think that this is probably the lamest looking final villain ever. Ever. Look at him. He looks so bad. He looks so bad. And it only gets worse with his battle mod. Like, his animations are terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. If this is your favorite villain, why? <laughs> why? It surely can't be for the story. I can't see it for the design. He looks like Gudra gone wrong. <laughs> That's what it is, man. I digress. Okay, whatever. Let's just do it. Father, please no. <gasps> no. This can't be. What's happening to him? I'm sorry. Those who sit upon that throne cannot hide from the truth within. Behold, Ge King Garon's true power. I'll rip your heart out. I'll rip you. Curse you, traitors! How dare you trick your king? You will pay for this indiscretion. All who see me like this must die. Good luck. He is, he's kind of a joke. <laughs> I mean, oh, to be fair. To be fair, the cutscenes sure makes him out to seem like a badass of some kind. I just can't get over that design. It looks so bad. It looks so, it's like the Disciples of Order, but even worse somehow. <laughs> and those guys were the tackiest things I've ever seen. <laughs> ugh. Father, why? He probably yeah. smells awful too, like, ugh. <laughs> Leo, stay strong. We have to fight. If we back down now, he'll kill us all. Yeah. Good try. Oh my god, the camera! <laughs> Come on. Rah, pathetic. No. What's happening? The auto isn't doing any damage. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't make sense. I'm dude with cap strength. You expected to defeat me with a mere child's toy. <laughs> yes, I did actually. It is your weakness. Oh come on. 
Are these angles intentional, do you think? Like, they just thought of the possibility you could get this, you could get this far with girl corn and just... <laughs> I don't know, man. Dude. No, this is too awful. Please, Father, stop this. Yeah, try, <laughs> try reasoning with him, Elise. As Elise, now is no time to cry. We need you to fight, too. We You're can't. our best magic user, after all. You don't understand, Azura. Although we can see the truth, it's not so easy to attack the man we've called. <sighs> I can't accept that Father is really gone forever. I just... <clears throat> what did... <laughs> Weren't they all on board a second ago? Whatever. Did... I guess they maybe actually thought we were bullshitting or something. I... I... I don't know. I just... I don't know, man. Camilla's right. Whatever has happened to him, he's still our father. Are you sure, though? <laughs> I don't know if I can do this. Oh my. You can't be serious. Look at him. Come on. Don't you see what he's become? Everyone. Everyone, please. I need you to put aside your disbelief and lend me your strength. This thing is not the man you think he is. This is not Nor's proud King Garon. All that remains is a monster that has taken over his heart and soul. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. My children will not be swayed by a pathetic orphan like you. Time to die, dude. Not likely. He can't even one round me. We've got all day, pretty much. I have at least three healers. Yes, thank you, Xander. Xander. What? What is the meaning of this? You dare point your blade at me, Crown Prince? I think you do. Silence! Do not speak as though you know me, foul beast. <laughs> what? Stand down. You are no longer the father I once looked up to. All has become clear. At least Xander's kind of cool here. I knew. I know my father better than anyone. I always wondered what has changed his heart, made it grow cold. Now I know. When I was a young boy, my father was strong and brave. Stirred, but fair. But for all his power, he would never have used his strength against his own children. He would never have needlessly conquered or ruined another kingdom. Hmm. Fool, you know nothing. You. It is you who knows nothing. God, yeah, Xander's taking charge now. More of this, man. Of my father, of me, or my sister here. All this time, I have strived to be a good son and a worthy heir. I have faithfully followed your orders, even when doing so tortured my soul. I brushed aside my early memories of father and accepted you as our king. I fought in your name, hoping one day you would reawaken as the man you once were. But that man is dead and has been dead for a long time now. Yeah. Xander, I'm so sorry, but you're right. This is not the father you once loved. Fight with me, brother. If you don't, everyone we love will die. We've come too far to lose heart now. Father, rest his soul. Wouldn't want this murderer... Wouldn't want this monster further soiling his legacy. Right you are, dude. Together. That is why I shall once more fight at your side. Just like my father would have, with strength and pride. I will defeat this pretender and restore true peace to this world. What's this? My Siegfried. The blade is... Huh? Could it be? I think it could. Time for an 11th hour power-up. Let's do it! <laughs> Extraordinary. The light. It's growing brighter. Uh? It's happening again. Uh? Wow, that light. It's just like when my Brynhildr joined with the power of the Yaddo. It can't be. Does that mean it's about to change form once more? What? What's happening? Uh. Dude! Sweet! Aw, oh, kick-ass sword! So, just like that, the Yaddo becomes its true form, or at least its true form in this round. You can see right on the side there's a bunch of lights. There's four of them. I wonder why. <laughs> By revelation to find out. My sword, the power. What's wrong, dude? Are you alright? <laughs> the power, it's flowing through me, becoming part of me. The power of your Siegfried and Leo's Brynhildr. Our weapons have joined forces to unlock the Seal of Flames. It's... Wait, the Seal of what now? Was that... Was that mentioned before now? I, I honestly can't remember. It is as the Rainbow Sage prophesized. In this new blade, it's whispering its name to me. In my hands, reborn, I grasp the legendary Shadow Yato. And you get the Shadow Yato. Now, all that said, well, I guess there's more story. The Shadow Yato. It's a fitting name. Use its might to reclaim our dear kingdom, which father once ruled and we will inherit. Yeah. Yes, Xander. I finally have the strength now. I feel divine energy coursing through me, warming my heart and tempering my soul. Insolent fool. Fools, ingrate. 
Come at me then, with a sacred blade of, or a wooden stick. It matters not. I will kill you all where you stand. Sure you will. We won't let that happen. Not now or ever. Yeah. <laughs> so as great as all this is, we can... But there's still more. <laughs> Why? What? No. Impossible. Why? I am the king. I won't fall to a child. Yes, let you will. Begin. It is time to end your reign of terror. Camilla, Leo, Elise. Do not stand... Mostly dude, though. <laughs> do not stand idly by while dude battles for her life and yours. If you are truly Norian royals, then stand up and fight. Quit being bitches. Fight for our kingdom and for our world. <laughs> especially wait, especially you, Leo. Were you the guy that just said to hell with you like two maps ago? Fight for each other. And for our father. In his memory, let us defeat the beast who has destroyed him. Brother? Xander. Man, you're right. I lost my nerve for a moment, but I understand now. As a Norian royal, I will fight for all we hold dear. I will fight until we have won. Now everybody's gonna Chill. have a little speech or something? Yeah, I guess so. It hurts so very much, but if we win this battle, perhaps Father's spirit will be able to rest in peace. I have to believe that. Father! This monster, he's the only father I've ever known. But I want to protect the people I love. I won't let them die. Forgive me, Father, but I'm through listening to you. Why does Elise have the I longest <laughs> speech? I believe in you, my brothers and sisters. We will not let this beast prevail. We will fight, and together we shall rid the world of this ancient evil. This evil that has crept into our world and forced Nora and Hoshino into feudal war. We will save the world and free the real King Garon's imprisoned spirit. But hold on, though. Hold on, though. <laughs> yes, you can just leave. You can just leave. Hold on there, King Garon. <laughs> Gotta go shopping real quick. Also, you get to keep the Shadow Yada, so if I want to, I can go now and do a bunch of missions with this super, super broken weapon. Gives you four defense and res just by having it, and it also still boosts your speed, I'm pretty sure, because it's a katana. Yeah. If you just have it in your inventory, that's enough to get the boost. Okay, it looks good to me. So the only thing that we have really done here is we gave due to strength tonic. And we got the strength boost from the mess hall. I actually don't think the speed part matters, does it? Oh, mm, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because she's going to be getting danced. So the thing with this map, right, is that each of these... Wow, they are just shrine maidens. I was going to say the promoted version, but no, they're actually base level glasses. Uh... Most of the Shrine Maidens have infinite range and trap for some reason. I I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. And it basically can't miss because it has 200 hit. The only way you're dodging that is by cheating, basically. So they're going to entrap four characters. There's, there's a method to the madness. I don't know what it is. I do not care. I'm not dealing with it. So instead, <laughs> what we are going to do, something like this. Where are you at, Niles? Come on now. And this is a patented Deltre strategy. <laughs> I figured this out very early on because I got very sick of playing this map. So, what we need to do is, wh where's Camilla? Right here. You just need a 9 movement flyer. That's really the only requirement for this. You, you just need a base 9 movement flyer. You need a staff user that boosts move. So you have the choice between an adventurer or a falco knight. Those are the only two things you need for this strategy, really. And it also helps if Corrin can just kill Garon. Which she can, make no mistake. Oh, we should talk about him at least, because... I, I mean, I guess. He has 58 attack. Pretty scary. You need 33 speed to double him. Now, he doesn't look like he's all that scary, but he also has this dragon skin ability, which halves damage taken from... Basically everything. Including crits, skills like Luna and stuff. You can't do lethality, and he can't be damaged by poison strikes. So like poison strike, grizzly wound, savage blow, etc, etc. Can't, can't do it to him. But the auto reduces this effect by half. So instead of cutting all incoming damage in half, it cuts it by a fourth. Which is pretty, uh, pretty beneficial. Pretty beneficial to say the least. He also has armor blow and warding blow. And savage blow. None of it matters. He has a really good axe with 1 to 3 range. If only he were going to live long enough for it to be a threat. Now, is there anything at all that I need to do? Oh, where's, where's Jin? By the way, one of you guys said that his name, like, his name means man. So he's man man. Or potentially he's rally man. Quite literally. <laughs> so his name is literally rally man. It's amazing. <laughs> it's so amazing. Uh, all that said, we're basically done here. We need Niles because he has move plus one. That's another part of this. You need like a 9 move mounted unit or like a 9 move unit in general to carry Azura. It also helps if Korn has the boots. Okay, so real quick before we actually jump back to this map, I went back to this door 
Sold off basically all my forges and crap that I'm not gonna need. And I bought a talisman. I'm not sure if Camilla needs it or Everyone. not, but I want to make sure that she can survive the real end game. So everybody's basically <laughs> everybody's basically disarmed, unless Everyone. I think for sure they'll be fighting. So just keep that in mind. I, it's really not that hard to scrape up a lot of money at the final map like that, just because depending on what you choose to do, it's not. Like, you're not gonna need so, so many people. We're gonna need, we're gonna need everybody, don't get me wrong. But not everybody needs to be a god among men. Fighting, you know what I mean? And I also picked up a third freeze staff as well for Dwyer. The logistics of what I want to do just work out better that way, I think. I digress. It, it's taken me longer to explain this than it will to actually beat the map. So, let's go ahead, start now. Rally. Rally. And animations will automatically come on, so I'm not worried about that. Do not worry, we will not miss them. I've also done all the inventory and crap like I said I would, so hopefully, hopefully we can just win. <laughs> it really just depends on Flora, honestly. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take Camilla, we're gonna move her down the stairs, thus preserving her turn, hit the entrap, we do not miss, and uh, good game. <laughs> you think that's a joke? No, no, no. Like I say, these guys all have entrap. I don't know how the AI works. I don't really care either because <laughs> this is honestly in my opinion, a really good use of the rescue staff. Yeah, that's right, we're using the rescue staff here. I didn't say anything about not skipping this map. I said I wouldn't skip endgame. This is not endgame. <laughs> we have one more to go. So rescue, dude. And it's been really fun. <laughs> so if anybody is tired of having to replay this map, now you know a good way to do it. Assuming you have uh, at the bare minimum, a way to kill Garon. It doesn't even really have to be Corrin. Just anybody that can kill Garon is enough. The setup to make this work isn't really that hard. I just got her, sh uh, not shelter, but elbow room and trample were the main things. Of course, the strength boon helps as well. I think we could have got this up to 36 times too if I really cared about it, but I don't because this is more than enough. Also, if for whatever reason that is not enough, and you can somehow work this out. King Garon is not immune to Enfeeble. In fact, none of the bosses in this game are immune to Enfeeble. So you can do that as well if you somehow get in range. Or you can just try to figure out how the entrap stuff works. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> I don't need to deal with it. I should have killed you. Even if it meant disobeying the great Anakos. <laughs> Anakos, what are you talking about? Your god has nothing to do with this. We all make our own decisions. You're responsible for all of this, monster. You destroyed the heart of a good man for your own selfish gain. But even you could have chosen a different path. No matter the circumstances we are born into or the blood in our veins, we're the masters of our own fate. That's what Lucina told me anyways. That's why I'm not like you, nor could I ever be. I chose the path I believe in, the path of peace. Now watch as I thrust my sword through your skull. <laughs> and that conviction, that strength, I will use that power to defeat you. Yeah, basically. So... It doesn't really matter what happens here, now does it? Because he is very dead. Oh yes, he is very, very dead. Of course we dodge, because we are the GOAT Dragon Fang for good measure. And good night. If dude can't do this for whatever reason, you could obviously just roll Dragon Fang crits, but at that point, you might just want to figure out how the map actually works. Like I say, I have no idea. Don't need to. This is impossible. Impossible! Improbable. You didn't count on the Shadow Yato powering itself up at the 11th hour like that. This Thank God. And we get shelter. Don't need it. So, uh, that was really embarrassing. <laughs> not really a whole lot to say about that map. Don't really care for the gimmick, I'll be honest. I'm not entirely sure how... I'm not entirely sure how you're supposed to figure out how it works to begin with, because that's... <sighs> Supposedly, it's consistent, but the thing is... The thing is, right, on your first playthrough, how the hell do you expect to combat that correctly? I don't know if it... I don't know how it works. <laughs> like, I, I, that's honestly all there is to it. I don't know how it works. Can they just kill you? Can they? Because if so, that seems kind of bullshit because that automatically disqualifies you from using certain people. I mean, it's not as if it misses, so they can basically entrap whoever they want with the same amount of reliability, 100 is 100, you know, so... Do they intentionally try to kill you, or what? Do you need a team of people who can... potentially survive any room? Or what? Because I... I really just don't know. 
What I do know is that the game is most definitely over. There were no other villains to defeat, so here we are. Let's get our ending. For sure. 100%. You see, dude buys it too. That's it. Rest in peace, father. <sighs> Xander, we did the right thing. I know in my heart that this was the only way to save him. I just wish I could have gotten to know the real Garon. Goodbye, father. Well, that's that. <laughs> Oh god, changing her to a paladin at the last moment was a huge mistake. It's gonna sap all the seriousness out of this. <laughs> That's it, my dear friends and siblings. We won the war. Quickly, let's free the remaining Hoshinan soldiers and release the prisoners before anyone else shows up. Makes sense to me. Oh god damn, this guy again? What does that mean? I am betrayal. Can somebody translate? <laughs> what? <laughs> Talk to me, you're alive. But what happened to you? You're glowing. The pain of betrayal, yours and mine. It burns. Burns. I must, I will, kill you. Kill you. Huh? Talk to me, what are you talking about? Snap out of it, please. I will kill you. I will kill you, lost sister. Die, dude. Oh, man. This was the greatest choice of my life. I think it honestly might be the best decision I've ever made. Betrayal, death, murder. Betrayal, death, murder. Yeah, we got it the first time, bud. Takami, stop this. The war is over. King Garen has been defeated. Please, brother. There's no reason to fight each other anymore. Kill. War, betrayal, death, murder. Is that all there is? I will not be swayed. War, betrayal, death. <sighs> Damn it, Takumi. What are you talking about, man? Stop this madness and listen to me for a change. Wait. Dude, wait. I'm afraid he can't be reasoned with. You're not going to want to hear this, but... I believe he is possessed by something just as King Garon was. No. No, please. It can't be so. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude, but look at him. The way he's moving and speaking. War, death, betrayal? What is that nonsense? Takumi is no longer with us. I'm afraid it's too late to save him. I'm guessing he, when he threw himself off the Great Wall of Susano, he was already... No. No, I can't accept that. No, I can't accept that. Are you saying I must now defeat my own brother? Killing my father wasn't enough. <sighs> <sighs> afraid not. Yes, that is what I'm saying. I'm so sorry. <gasps> This can't be happening. Oh, it's definitely happening. This is all your fault. It's all your fault. Hoshino is dead. All your fault. You destroyed my kingdom, my family. If you die, I can rest. If you die, the pain, the pain will stop if I kill you. Uh, Talk to me, please, my brother. Please don't cry. Here we go. <laughs> Wait, he's not the one crying. You're the one crying. We have to fight him, too. His mind is fucked up. The monsters has latched onto his regrets to his resentment and bitterness. I, I read that wrong. <laughs> I thought, I thought it, it <laughs> Latched on to his resentment and bitchiness. His heart and mind have been pushed past the point of no return. We have to stop him before more innocent lives are lost. No. Wait, don't move. What's that? Dude. Yeah. Talk to me has every right to be angry with me. I'm to blame for much of the heartache in his life. I chose this path. I do not regret it, but I must take responsibility for it. There's only one way to do that. Unbelievable. You don't intend to. Wait, dude. I have a better solution. I'm just gonna sing. It's too dangerous. Please, come back. <laughs> dude. Betrayal. Dad. I must kill you. Takumi. Takumi. I know I've never been there for you like a sister should. It caused you so much suffering and I couldn't save you at the Great Wall. This all grieves me. It's not like I can fly or anything. What can I say? This all grieves me more than you will ever know, but I will not fall here on this day. I won't let you kill me, but the very least I can do is accept all of your anger. I'll kill you. Death, murder, betrayal. <laughs> Come on, get some new lines, bud. I will kill you, dude. I will kill you. I don't know. He is pretty scary. Talk to me. If you're going to aim that thing at anyone, aim it at me. I'm the one you want. 
Go on then. Loose your arrow, brother. Die! Yeah, whatever. He does like nine. Oh, that was a lot more than nine. <laughs> that was about 50 all of my life. Goodbye. Huh? I like how she, <laughs> she has time to put her hand on her. Okay, whatever, man. That was a pretty janky animation. Like, it looks so unnatural. Her hand just snapped. <laughs> what the hell? Dude. <laughs> no. Dude. Dude, come on. Impossible. How could one arrow be so powerful? Don't worry. I'm fine. After all I've been through, that's not enough to stop me. Ryoma's counting on me. Takumi, that wasn't enough, was it? To quell your hatred of me. Hit me again, my brother. Do what you need to do. <gasps> Dude. Seriously? Dude! Why would that be your first response? For Endgame, Night Breaks Through. <sighs> Best final map in the series. Yeah, there's my hot take. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I want that to be the thumbnail so bad, but like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously? Right now? <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm? Where am I? It's so dark, I can't see a thing. I'm so very tired. Where did I leave my pants? Good morning. Rise and shine, sweet dude. Mother! What are you doing here? What's going on? Is this my room? Aw, oh, crap, am I dead? Yeah. <laughs> no, you're right where you belong, my love. Did you sleep well? You've always been such a sleepyhead, even when you were a baby. You'd always put up such a fuss whenever I tried to wake you up. So cute. Hmm, really? Go on. My sweet girl, didn't Ryoma promise to train with you today? If you don't get up right now, you'll be late. You know how much he hates tardiness. I'm going to train with Ryoma? But I'm still so sleepy. Oh. <gasps> Now is not the time for sleep, darling dude. I wish I could let you stay, let you sleep forever so I could keep you here with me. But I can't be selfish. You have so much left to do. Mother, what are you... Unbelievable. Dude, are you really still in bed? Why am I not surprised? Ryoma. Oh. I told you your brother would not tolerate being kept waiting. <laughs> oh. Uh. Grab your blade and meet me in the castle garden, lazy sister. The longer you make me wait, the harder this training session will be on you. Okay, I'll be right there. The where did I leave my... That's odd. Where did my kick-ass new weapon go? What's the matter? What's wrong, dude? I can't find my sword. And I'm pretty sure I killed you. But that's okay. I'm sure I can find another one around here somewhere. <laughs> These camera angles. I think, if anything, this is the problem with the fan surface in this game. This right here, because there's no way you could ever take this seriously. There's no way in a million years. I, can't, I cannot believe this. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to find your Yato, dude? Don't you need it? Huh. Ha, so you think if you beat me with a Yato, you can save the world, is that it? Mother, Ryoma, what are you... <sighs> Wake up, dude. Surely you haven't forgotten my dying words. Your dying words? Yes. I'm counting on you, dude. That's what I told you, isn't it? Isn't it, sister? <gasps> oh, yeah. Ryoma, you did tell me that. You said it right before you... Here we go. So, you do remember. I knew you wouldn't forget. Big brother. Ryoma, where am I? Did Takumi's last attack kill me? No. Nearly, but you can still go back to that world if your desire is strong enough. If you wish to keep fighting, you can return to your precious allies. Huh? Back to my... allies? <sighs> I have friends? Wake up, dude! Please, we need you to wake up. You can't die here. You're <sighs> the only way to beat him! We didn't get life and death, sadly. Dude is dead, at last. She will never open her eyes again. How could... Bite your tongue, beast. Dude is not dead. She will return to us. I won't allow such a grotesque monster to take anyone else from me. I'll kill you. You're next, Prince Xander. I will kill you. I'm a flyer, ouch. Ah. What is Azura doing taking hits? 
I'm pretty sure Takumi kills like eight Azuras at this point. Those voices, that was Xander and Azura. My friends and loved ones are still fighting Takumi. But I thought his anger would subside after defeating me. <sighs> oh, what is this song? Not entirely sure, but it's it's pretty good, actually. <laughs> Trippy as hell, to be sure, but it fits the mood. Gotta give you that. The bitterness in trapping Takumi is stronger than you know. The beast within will not be satisfied until he has destroyed all Norians. But your allies, they won't give up on you. They believe that you will return to them. They believe you will rise and fight with them once more. Gods. In the name of <laughs> justice! Oh, we're gonna do everybody seriously? Oh my god. Fallen hero, I command you to rise to the name of justice! They, you are the- Look me in You the must eyes. not die here, dude. The world still has need of you. You can't die here. I need you around to hug and play with me, please. Technically an adult, though. <laughs> I'm here for you. Please don't leave, my precious dude. Please, gods, take me instead. No, I need you on this map. If anybody Pay take... Attention. Not her either, though. <laughs> You're just pretending to be dead, right? It's not funny, so stop it already. Not her, though. Who can we Stay sacrifice? Strong. Not him, I need him too. Hang in there, old friend. Can you hear my voice? If you can, come back to me. Where are all my scrubs? Ah, fair finger of fate. I mean, I hate to say it, but you guys can take Ophelia if you want. <laughs> a gentle aura has encircled your body. It whispers words of awakening. That's not how this works. Let's go. You cannot die. That is not what the future holds in store. You must keep fighting. Excuse me. You won't let a sorry attack like that kill you, right? You're stronger than that. I mean, you're not wrong. Don't die on me. One so grave as you, or one so young as you, should not rush to your grave. Your time here has just begun. Is it just gonna be the people I brought? Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully not everybody. Come on now. Father says that justice never sleeps, so you can't go napping on the job either. Oh please. Ugh, seeing you so defenseless is fascinating. <laughs> God damn it, Niles. But that's enough. Come back to us. I'll watch out for you. Wake up soon, or I'll be forced to use my ice powers on you again. Please. I think they'd probably do it, though, right? Stand firm. I forbid you to die, milady. No good could possibly come of it. Awfully strange coming from you, Gunter, but alright. Okay, it's just the people that we deployed. Good. I thought, I thought it was really going to make me, on the spot, remember Everyone. every single character in the game. That'd be crazy. My friends, my family, I hear your cries. I must go back to my world. I must stop talking to me. <clears throat> So you have decided to return? Yeah. Yes, Ryum. I'm so sorry, but it's not my time yet. I wish I could stay with you and Mother forever. But standing still is not an option. I have a world to save. I see. I see. You really are my sister after all. But before you go, there's someone who wishes to speak with you. Huh? There is. Who? And here's the problem that everybody has with this story. Right here. Hey, what's up? Takumi! Takumi. What, what are you doing here? Aren't you in the middle of fighting my allies? How can you be here too? No. I am here and here alone. That thing is not me. It is merely a monster making a puppet of my corpse, fueled by lingering resentment. Though I cannot surely be free while my- <laughs> There we go! <laughs> He's gradually becoming nerdier as we go along. Though I cannot surely be free while my body is in prison. In truth, my soul left that body long ago. No. Talk to me. That's horrible. Is there nothing I can do? Okay, so, there it is. Now, some people have taken this to mean that before the events of this game have even begun, Takumi is possessed. I still don't think that. I still genuinely don't think that. The way he was acting seemed very natural in the beginning of the game, like from chapter 1 to 5 or whatever. No, excuse me, hiccups. But from chapter 1 to 5 or whatever, where he got really pissed at dude, that seemed like that was Takumi. Just based on his character. But even if it wasn't, let's say he was dead the whole time, it still makes sense because Anankos is possessing Takumi and Anankos has a hate boner for Korin. So everything that Takumi said from the beginning of the game up until this point would still apply to... It would still apply to either of them, if that makes sense. Takumi could be very pissed and Anankos is going insane. So it makes sense that he would mumble to himself, not really making a whole lot of sense. Almost as if he was... Almost as if it was really Takumi fighting back. They would sound the same. They would sound the same. So I don't necessarily see that as a pitfall, as it were, of the writing. 
in, in all honesty, if it was on in Ghost the entire time, it's kind of decent foreshadowing because... Well, first of all... <laughs> Let, let me let me put the asterisk there right now. It's decent foreshadowing if Anon Ghost were the actual villain of this game. <laughs> He's the villain of Rem. Don't get me wrong. But if their intention was to plant the seeds for that game, then if Takumi were possessed the entire time, then it begs the question, well, why was he talking to himself as he did way back in Chapter 11 and whatnot? But if it was Zanikos, it would make sense, because he's a degenerating dragon. So if that's what they were going for, I'd almost like to say that's kind of clever, but the problem is, again, Anikos is not the villain in this game. We don't learn anything else about him until Rev. Like, if there were a part two, and then all of a sudden Anikos came out, and you had to defeat him right here, it could almost work. It would still be rushed, don't get me wrong. But the pieces would be there. The breadcrumbs would be there. So I'm not entirely sure. I, d I really don't hate what they did with Takumi. Not really. Because if he wasn't fully possessed until his death, which seemed to be what Azura was implying back in that previous cutscene, she seemed to be implying that when he jumped from the wall, he died, which allowed Anikos to take him over completely. Or, or he, like, Anikos had so much control by that point that he made Takumi jump from the wall, killing him, but then being able to use his body as a puppet. That's my interpretation anyways. Either of those two things could work, I wish it was clearer, but I don't necessarily think that this is the end of the world, in all honesty. Uh, that's horrible. Is there nothing I can do? Please. There is, dude. Please. I need you to destroy my body. Only your Yato has the power to release it from its unholy master. Uh? But Takumi, my Yato is... Uh? Yes, I know. It was shattered by that monster's last attack. That's why you'll need to take this, my Fujin Yumi. With this, I know you can find a way to restore your Yato's sacred power. What was that? I can't accept something so precious, not after all I've done to you. Ugh. Take it. I won't accept no for an answer. You're the only one I can count on. Though it pains me, those of us here are powerless to affect your world. Please, I need you to set me free. Takumi. Takumi, I won't let you down. I vow on your precious Fujinumi to free your body no matter what. Thanks. Thank you, dude. I wonder. What it would have been like to fight on the same side as you. I wonder. They should make a game about that. At any rate, I always wish we could be as close as you were with your Norian siblings. Right up until my last moments, I wanted so badly to call you my sister. To look up to you and to love you. And never allow anything to come between us. I wish I had told you that before I died, while there was still a chance. Again, this is something that people have a problem with, and I... I don't get it, because this is literally Takumi's character. He, he is a dick, but he's like, he's covering up, like, it, it's a shell, it's a, it's a facade. He's actually like this, if you, if you read his supports, he's much more like this, the whole time. So I don't see where this isn't consistent. I don't, and I understand that people say, well, Takumi was the only person that hated Corrin, so this is super lame. I don't agree with that, because it's sort of like piling on the rest of the issues with this game onto this one moment when you do that, in my opinion. And feel free to disagree, you don't have to listen to anything I say, honestly. But, the fact that Takumi never... never really hated Korin like that makes sense. What brother, honest to God, really wants to have to murder their sister? What, what kind of sense does that make? What kind of sense does that make? Even if he was pissed, and rightfully so at the beginning of the game, they heavily emphasize family over anything else. So why would Takumi... I don't know, man. The main takeaway is I do not think this is horrible. Feel free to disagree. I was just so stubborn, so hurt. Yeah, he's he just said. He was pissed. So where's the contra... Forget it. <laughs> I couldn't admit those feelings, even to myself. For that, I am truly sorry. I'm so sorry for letting you slip away, dear sister. I am so sorry. Nah, clearly he's just, re he's just expressing regret. He's just expressing regret for his actions in his life. And if he's regretful of them at all, then that must mean that he was, in some way, shape, or form, responsible for his actions at the beginning of the game. Right? Takumi, I'm so sorry too. I caused you so much pain. The truth is, I long to have you accept me as your sister too. I never let go of the dream that after the war, we could all be together again. I'm so sorry things turned out the way that they did. No. It's alright, dude. We finally got to say all the things we needed to say. You have done more than enough. 
My heart, it's finally at peace. Thank you, sister. Uh? Talk to me. Steal yourself. You can do this, dude. Why do you think I entrusted you with saving everyone? It is because you have a pure heart, kind and strong. You have suffered much and endured much sadness in your life. But now is not the time to look back. Wake up and stand strong. Put one foot in front of the other and press onward. Fight with all your heart to end this war. The auto chose you for a reason. You can do this. I believe in you. Yeah. I won't let you down, Ryoma. I'll fight as though you are fighting beside me. <laughs> with my plus seven speed, sweet. And this time, I'll keep my promise to you. I won't give up. As for you, please rest peacefully, brother, and watch over us and your kingdom. <laughs> oh, dude. You're so sweet when you're dreaming, just like the little girl I held so long ago. All that time, I longed to be near you, to watch you grow. I'm so grateful for these fleeting moments with you. I will cherish them always. No matter where you go or what you do, no matter who stands at your side, know that I will always, always love you. When next we meet here, I look forward to seeing the great woman you've grown into. Yes. I will do all that I can to make you proud. That's a promise, Mother. You have my gratitude. Thank you, my sweet child. Hearing you call me that means everything to me. Go now. I will watch the rest of your journey unfold from afar. Good luck with those hit rates. Thanks, Mom. My child. Safe travels, dude. Go on. Show them what you're made of, dude. Take care. Well, I'll be here together again someday, dude. Goodbye. Goodbye. This is it. Goodbye, everyone. Until we meet Goodbye. again. Oh, I'm sorry. But I'm not sorry, it's time to do this. End game. Oh, Lilith, get out of here. Hello, lady dude. <laughs> Did you need one more interruption? No, not really, Lilith. Uh, Lilith. Come on. It's time for you to return home. Please take my hand. Thank you. Thank you, Lilith. How can you do that, by the way? Don't worry about that. Come with me. I still can't get over the fact that that's her sister. Why is that not in the game? <laughs> Your hand is so warm, dude, just like it always was. I can feel your kindness radiating through with the slightest touch. I always recall how gentle you were when you rescued me. And how kind you were to me, even though you were locked away from the world. And how bravely you fought against those who would harm the ones you love. And this as well, and that as well. Anything else you would like to add, Lilith? I love everything about you, my friend. I hope you know that. Yeah. Lilith. My dear friend, I love you too. I always will. Thank you. Thank you, lady dude. These are our last moments together. I have to let you go now. But I won't be sad. You were so brave when I died, so I'll be brave for you too. Do your best. I wish you the best of luck, dude, and all the happiness in the world. This music is gonna be pumped, thank though. You. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> it's been good. Goodbye, Lulith, and thank you. going back, back to where I was before. My battle is not yet won. I must keep pushing forward. Fujin Yumi, please hear my plea. Lend me my shattered Yato power. Allow me to lay your master's body to rest for Takumi. Now technically this should power up the Yato again. Wait, does it? That light! <laughs> Thank you, Fujin Yumi. Thank you, Takumi. Dude! Everyone, dude has returned to us! Yes. I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm back where I belong now. Ryoma, talk to me. The others helped me find my way back here. Back to you. I'm ready to fight. I'm so glad. This is so wonderful. <laughs> my darling dude, just come back to me. <laughs> I know you wouldn't fall so easily. I taught you too well. <laughs> Leo, I like your style, man. I was so worried. I wouldn't get to hug you again. I'm so happy. I think we have bigger issues, namely this map, Elise. I'll never forgive you! No forgiveness! Dude! No matter how long it takes, I will kill you! <laughs> give it your best! Yeah, that's more like what? it. What? We won't give up. It will not break, beast. This sacred blade will never be shattered by your evil ever again. The power of Takumi's Fujinumi, and the love of everyone I fought with and for... They're all locked inside my Yato. That means it will never falter, and neither will I. <clears throat> My Fujinumi has betrayed me. No. No. <laughs> the Fujinumi doesn't belong to you. It belongs to my brother. Talk to me. That weapon's true master died because of you. I chose this path and I will walk it until the very end. I'll make things right again. 
I will defeat you and keep all the promises I made to my loved one. I'll kill you. I will kill you. Filthy Norian. I am the true Hoshinan Prince. I am Takumi. I am Takumi. I am Takumi. I assume that's how you would read that. I will defend my Hoshino and destroy Nor. All Norians must die. All of you. Die. 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 Let's go. This is it. Takumi, I'm sorry it took us so long to finally see eye to eye. I will save both your kingdom and mine. I promise. This will be my... No. This will be our final battle. You just had to get that one in there, huh? Had to? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Here it is, man. There's a metric ass load of issues with this map. <laughs> The first thing that stands out to me is this situation right here. If you thought Steph Stefan was going to go away, I'm sorry to say, no it will not. But not only that, now we're going to start stacking the old inevitable end. Oh yes, <laughs> we've been feeble. A very similar formation down here, except this time they have a hexing rod. I did see a few comments kind of saying the hexing rod is ass and I totally agree. I hate it from the enemy standpoint and I also hate it from the player standpoint. I hate it from the enemy standpoint because there is no restore staff. Which is kind of weird because, because there's there's way more debuffs and status in this game than ever, really. So having no way to counter that is kind of strange, but... I don't necessarily want to say it's broken or anything. I mean, sh shoot, we made it this far. Clearly it can be played around. I don't necessarily know. I don't, I don't necessarily know if it's better or worse that it's not here. I will say that it would be better if the hexing rod was not here if there's if there's not going to be a restore staff. And I also hate it from the player side of things because <laughs> none of the bosses are immune to that. And that includes the final boss of Birthright. So, problem number two. These pools on the sides of the map are going to spawn reinforcements infinitely starting on turn four until you win or lose. The other thing is that you can't move through it. I think I said that, but it bears repeating. You can't move through it. Only the enemy can move through it. And... I actually prefer this because it prevents it prevents you from getting screwed over by them too hard because, as I recall, on this map and this map alone, the reinforcements are ambushes, right? I don't know, like I said, last time I rescue skipped this, and I'm not sure that we're going to be, well, well, we'll see, but I'm pretty sure that they're ambushes, so the fact that you can't move through it means that you're never going to be put into a position where... You're going to be unfairly killed because you didn't predict reinforcements, you know what I mean? Because they can't reach you. They can't reach you and you can't be inside their range. So that's good, I think. Now these savages, or these chieftains, I don't know why I will never get them right. I'm sorry. But these guys, pretty beefy. However, Elise can blow them up. Leo can blow up another. Now, Silence is a C-rank staff. <laughs> so, that's good for me, I think. And the first thing we are going to try to do... And the first thing you basically have to do on this map is find some way past this group. If you're going to play it normally, if you're not going to, like, cheese it, you really want staff users on this map. I really wouldn't recommend less than three. You could probably get away with two. And again, we're talking about if you're playing it normally. Obviously, you can just skip it. Now, these guys are such a huge issue, and they're incredibly bulky. Much bulkier than these maids, which are honestly quite frail. Which is the saving grace about this. They're not too, too fast. And they're not too, too beefy. So we can take them out relatively quickly. These guys, on the other hand, there's no such luck there. We can't hand X cheese them over this boulder or anything like that. So how I see this going is uh, bypassing them completely. Now, these paladins have beast killers. Which is a problem for somebody like Dwyer. Look at that. If Dwyer is right here, we can stop this guy. Or this guy, but I think this guy is more dangerous. Because I, these guys are really slow. They'll never double anybody, which is good because I I want to bring one of... Well, it's either going to be Gunter or Xander. It doesn't really matter which, I think, but let's do Gunter. And if Camilla's down here after killing this one, she also kills one of these paladins. Since we're going to be going the right-hand side, I don't really feel like doing all of this. Uh, that does mean that we need to clear a straight shot, basically. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right here. Dude needs to end up here at some point. With, with a turn, that is. She needs to end there and then be able to move 10 tiles. Because we have the last of our obstacles, really. Uh, this guy right here. Sakami. Who uh, cheats the game a little bit, <laughs> but that's fine. 
He has his personal Draconic Hex, which isn't going to come into play. But since we didn't see it, I guess it's worth pointing out. It's going to basically hit you with an Enfeeble Staff after you complete combat if this guy should survive. Not as strong as any individual seal skill, however, it hits all of them at once, so it's quite decent if you're not going to be killing things for whatever reason. Maybe you just can't or whatever. He also has Vengeance, but we can't do enough damage to him in a single hit to make this lethal, so that's fine. He also has Life Taker, so you can't, you can't just throw bodies at him until you win because eventually he's going to get an attack on his turn and he's going to heal half his health, so that's no good. He also has the Dragon Skin, which is the same as it was on Garon, which is why it's so important that Korn is, uh, is strong enough to do this. There are alternatives, make no mistake, but I do believe she is strong enough when all is said and done. We also have Bold Stance, which is both Attack Stance and Guard Stance at the same time, basically. So he, he does cheat the game, I'm not going to lie, but I think that this is fine for the final boss, honestly. It doesn't feel... It doesn't feel unfair, and honestly, if he didn't have this, he would be, he'd be a real joke. He'd be a real joke. Also, he's paired up with himself. Don't ask me how that works. But, because of the replicas, you kill one, the other dies as well. Is the Scotty. Really strong bow, really strong bow. It has negative crit, almost as if they realized it would be really obnoxious to die. Just some bullshit like that. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> well. That said, we are going to have to hit at least one vein at some point, and I see Dude being the one to do it. And I guess the last thing I need to worry about is these guys coming in from the right at the very start. But, I want to say that's the slow food. I really do. Okay. Tonics time. We're going to go. No, not HP. A straight speed for you. We are going to go. Magic speed for you. Humility is like everything. HP, strength, speed, defense, resistance, uh, and talisman. Again, we picked that up in the stat booster store. I don't know if she needs the talisman. Mm, well, I guess we'll see. I, I guess we'll see. The slow needs the most. Of course. Of course. <laughs> well, actually, I was thinking about Flora going in first, but honestly, I don't trust my math. So, let's go in first with Izana instead. We'll go in first with him instead. In that case, I do not want Leslo to have more defense than Izana. Where's your... I bought him a weapon. Yeah, there's the... <laughs> let's get him his fire. He wants that. Because I want to persuade one of these first guys to go for Leslo over Izana no matter what. And between his aura, the rally defense, Sonics, etc, etc, Leslo is a better target, basically. Now with Leonardo, hit points, speed, defense. I'm sorry, I shouldn't call you Leonardo. I just remembered who that was. Oh, God. <laughs> Percy Jin, you're all fine. Now for all of my staff users, magic skill, every single one. Every single one. And Izana, we're going to beef him up. We're going to beef him up because I think that... I just don't trust my math with Dwyer, basically. And I think that Dwyer might die without Izana's help. Camilla may as well take the luck tonic too, I guess. <laughs> now with Dwyer, we got HP, magic skill, just like the others. Defense tonic. But, but we're also going to give him the Syrup Robe and the Draco Shield, because I am honest to God that concerned that he might die. That's why the Horse Spirit to begin with. That's why he has that to begin with. Now, I guess we've missed some, haven't we? Get the skills on him to you. God, this is such a godly endgame. Preparations music. I don't know if I like it more than Radiant Dawn Endgame, but if not, it's probably it's probably just as good, to be honest. And this is exactly why we double check our work, folks. Oh my god, this was so close. Uh had I not given Gunter this HP and speed tonic, he would probably die. Originally he was gonna be holding on to Flora at some point. Because basically, well, Izana lives and Flora doesn't, and <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's how this works. You know, man, I spent more time double-checking this than it would be to just simply replay the previous map. So, <laughs> we're gonna try. If something goes wrong, then so be it. I, I am actually gonna let this song loop like a, like one time. It is a fairly long track, like three minutes or so, but I, I will continue the commentary after that point. But I just, 
I think this is actually a fairly good moment. This feels climactic to me. I don't know about you guys. And I haven't heard this song in a minute anyways. It's not my favorite final battle theme, but... It's pretty damn good in its own way. And I think that if the game is going to bother to at least come close to what could be a climactic conclusion, I should at least respect that. This is a... Not saying I'll be silent, but I will do my best. At least for one loop. Let's just get it, man. Let's just get it. My apologies. I'm so sorry, Takumi. If I'd only been by your side, I might have realized what was happening sooner. Perhaps I could have found a way to save you. I know every choice we make has consequences. I choose to follow dude, but did I sacrifice you to do so? Regardless, I know what I must do. I have to make this up to you. I didn't plan on ever doing this again. But I will now use my forbidden song to weaken the curse and help save you. Once I use this power... Takumi, Ryoma, who are you talking to, Azura? I wonder if you'll be upset at me for joining you so soon. Or maybe you'll be happy to see me too. Ah, what, what is that song? My power is fading, but why? Why? No one loves me. They're always getting in my way. Here we go. Oh, hello? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. It's the final map. Come on. Come on now. I All right. That's right. That was nothing. I'm saying I thought this map was hard. What's happening? <laughs> Two. And floor is the best one. Come on now. We're in this, boys. <laughs> Let's see, did they go for Izana? I really hope that they do, man. They definitely will if Laslo gets hit. Or I mean, go for Laslo. I mean, if he gets hit, we're good. Thank you, dude. I always count on you to let me down. Please attack with slow though. That's all I need right now. <laughs> Please. Now Camilla's gonna dodge because she's actually good. What? It's fine. There we go. You know, for all those backflips, dude, that was pretty sad. <laughs> and they're just moving.
All right, there's one loop. That was really hard for me. I just want you guys to know. <laughs> Catch. So down goes the Master Ninja. Now, the weird thing about these guys is that they don't actually attack you. For some reason, I'm not entirely sure what that's all about, but it doesn't really make any kind of meaningful difference. Uh, Leo, you gotta kill this guy for me, man. Yeah, you gotta kill this guy for me. Free the slow! <laughs> Actually, he, I think he can make it, but still. But still. You gotta die, my man. He'll still kill me if I leave him alive, so. Yeah, I know, is that all? I thought this map was supposed to be difficult. Here we are on turn two. What's going on? I should be dead by now. Well, no, not really more to come, Leo. This is the last map. I don't know if anybody told you that, but... <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyhow. Percy is gonna smash it at that guy, but not yet. I've just realized how I can make that better. Uh, so first. As you saw there on the enemy phase, Sock and me started charging some crap. And we're gonna counteract that by doing this right now. Of course, <laughs> the game kind of leads you to believe that you can use these at choke points, because it says 30 HP. Uh, it does more than that, <laughs> so I don't know why it says 30. But bottom line, they get destroyed before the enemies move, so you can't use them to create like a natural choke point here. Keep that in mind. The enemies' ranges were what they were beforehand, basically. Now, we're going to be in range of one in people with Dwyer, but that is okay. Camilla as well, she's going to be in range of two in Feebles, actually. But she'll be okay, and you will see why. Now, we already gave Mozu on over to you. This is a fairly shaky... Well, I say fairly shaky. This is the worst part of the entire map, honestly. I would say... Because it's Elise, come on. <laughs> have you been watching the same play that I have? Because, as I recall, she can't hit anything. <laughs> Hopefully not today, though. Come on now, Elise. There it is. Great. And we're just trying to do all of our fighting before we do anything with Izana. You saw we were getting debuffed by him right there. But... Right, and now we can inspiring song for Camilla, because she's going to go again. She's going to slam into that maid at Mach 5, as she has been doing all game long. We of course, Zura this. gets a sick level up. Why would she not? <laughs> Why would she not? Right. Yeah, that's looking a little better. I think we can do even better. Oh man, you are done. You're done. Never challenge me again with that zero damage. Hurry up and die. I'm saying we got things to do. Now, that should be all of our fighting except for Camilla again slamming into this guy. This girl even. Now she needs to be right here. And we need to do this before we move Dwyer anyways, which was the whole reasoning for me buying the, uh, the final free staff, basically. Which we'll see in a second. Now, technically, since Camilla got hit, this has the slightest chance to go wrong, but it better not. <laughs> it better not, man. Now, this guy should still be right. He can, he can hit to here, though, because that barrier is going to crumble without a doubt. Jin is fine. He can't be one shot. No way. So he's on a right here. 89%er. <laughs> Yo! Come on. Right at the good part, too. Oh, man. Freeze. Don't move. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. You live, you live, you live. Without a doubt, all of that is true. Now, Flora. Flora, my girl. Don't do it to me. <laughs> All right. What do I do with Gunter? Originally, I was going to have him rescue Flora. But you'll see that by by putting, uh, not Dwyer, but Izana right here, I'm actually debuffing these enemies by two points. And I want to say that keeps Dwyer alive. Like, no lie. Izana can easily take a Ragnarok as well. As a potential Silver Axe to the Dome. So I'm not worried about him. This guy is too far away as well. To do anything meaningful anyways. So we should be golden, I want to say. We need to leave him out of there. Uh, we need to leave him out there, I should say. Because if we don't, Dwyer is probably going to die. Like I said, I think he's going to live with 1 HP, no lie. <laughs> Hopefully.
Now, how do we want to do this last one? I think I should be dropping silence, right? Man, I, I don't want to choke. <laughs> I'm going to say yeah. Let's drop off your boy Sidus. Nothing can really do anything to me on this turn. I drop Sidus he pairs with Azura because that's going to be necessary. Actually, I don't drop Silas, do I? Do I? I shouldn't have done anything with Silas. Shoot. Well, it's fine. It it's, makes no difference. I'll drop him then in that case. Yeah, I should have left him right there, actually, thinking about it. Now, let's see if this plan comes to fruition. Dwyer takes a melee. I thought he's on his skill was bad. What happened? What happened? Don't kill him. Oh, God, Camilla, do not kill that guy. Wait, no, nobody else is in range. Yeah, I thought that his skill was bad. Some kind of glitch, perhaps. <laughs> Yo. Oh, that was a last minute change for the better. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> They can't kill Camilla. They cannot kill my girl. There's no way. There's no way. Why did I quit the dual clip? I, I must be new. I must be new. Well, like I said, they couldn't kill her, but I, I tweaked. I tweaked so hard. <laughs> oh, God damn myself. It's fine. It doesn't make any difference, I assure you. It's just really embarrassing for me is all. So, <laughs> there's that. <laughs> I actually forgot the weapon triangle. Are you kidding me? And I'm gonna win. That's the messed up part. I'm the one you want. I'm gonna win this map. And I didn't know what the goddamn weapon triangle did. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> oh my god, why did I think he had a sword, man? <laughs> well. Anyway, Silas repairs with Rally Man right now. That was a huge mistake because what we actually, in reality, wanted to do was move here, give Silas to Azura. Like so. Now I've shook myself. <laughs> this is what we want to do, right? Yeah, because she needs the movement. We already decided where dude needed to be, which would be right here. And as you can see, Boom, there it is. So we rally with you. I'm gonna give Izana back to... I'll give him back to Gunter, but first we should try to kill this guy. Hey, Camilla actually didn't get frozen, so there's no possible way to lose, huh? Especially when I remember the uh, the correct way of the weapon triangle here. Uh, so... Yeah, we'll do this now. We'll do this now for the sake of doing like this. By the way. So now Gunter is with Dude. Where'd the slow go? Oh, he's right here. <laughs> I'm like, wait, wait, wait. So we rally for Dude again. Dwyer. Beast that he is. <laughs> and Feeble. Guess who's not immune to this? Did you guess Takumi? What? <laughs> yeah, no way! Hold on. Can I fix that? No, I can't because... I'm not in range regardless, am I? No. Can you even believe it? <laughs> I say... I say we're about to go for broke. I think that's what's about to happen here. No lie. <laughs> well, Leo can... That was crazy. <laughs> uh, well, that's one problem gone. I Flora couldn't have been she couldn't have been peopled anyways because Takumi is directly inside Dwyer's range, which is why we set this whole thing up. <laughs> well, I still gave dude the skill tonic, right? So <laughs> this is what it's come to, I guess. Uh, Leo! 
I can't believe that. I'm so mad. I'm so mad that I missed the 91 on the final map. The one move that could not miss. Because now I do not technically one round him. We'll see if that holds true or not, but just be aware that he would have died <laughs> with the uh with the thing. I mean technically we'd still miss this guy, right? We have Camilla too though. Man, oh man. It's gonna be right down to the wire because I'm 99% sure Takumi does not move first. So <laughs> If, uh, if he doesn't die right here, there's gonna be a lot of dying. There's gonna be so much dying. It was, uh, yeah, there was really nothing I could have done to save that at that point, though. I don't think. Because Flora couldn't have made it down to Camilla regardless, right? If she was here, I moved there. But if she was here, it would be... I maybe could have saved it. Oh no. Oh no. Why didn't I think a little bit harder? <laughs> See, that is my problem. When I when I have bad luck like that, man, it just all goes left. Oh, 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 I'm so bad at math. I'm so bad at math, but that's so good for me. <laughs> well, how about that? I thought it would round down to 37. Did I not account for the slow? Is that what's happening? Uh, 51. Oh, 74. Right. 74. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> oh, man. I will kill you, dude. This time for keeps. Takumi. Hang in there just a little bit longer, Takumi. I'll set your spirit free. I promise to make good on your dying wish, my brother. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, you guys told me this map was hard. I was explicitly told that Conquest Endgame was nearly impossible. I was told it was impossible. What happened? What happened? <laughs> oh, sweet. I will, I must kill, betray. Bleh. I like how it gives you experience. You can't save after this point, so it's not as though... Whatever. <laughs> and there it is. Ryoma, Takumi, I fulfilled my promise. Rest in peace now, my brother. So now we can claim our reward? Question mark? Thank, Thank you, you, my sister. Oh, he's gonna say it for me. Thank you, my sister. Uh? Oh, hey, look who's back. Takumi. Talking to me. Goodbye. Yeah. You freed my soul too, brother. Thank you. <sighs> I thought I threw. I thought I threw. <laughs> <sighs> Thank God for bad math, right? I wonder. What was it that possessed the bodies of King Garon and Takumi? Can sorrow and anger grow so strong they create a monster all their own? Or is there some other game that I must purchase to understand it all? <sighs> Alas, such questions are not meant to be answered by mortals like us. All I know is that this war is finally over. You did well, dude. Big brother. Xander. Thank you. Many sacrifices were made along the way, but now this world will finally know peace. I think that alone gives a great meaning to all we have done, and all we have lost. Hmm. Agreed. Whether others would say your course of action was right or wrong, it was your choice. And your pure heart never led you astray. That is the only justice one can hope in this world. Now in memory of all the lives that were lost to this senseless war, we must create a bright future for the whole world to share. Yeah. You're right, and that's just what we'll do. But wait, something's not right. Where's Azura? She was here just a moment ago. Has anyone seen her? What? She was just here. Where'd she go? Azura, where are you? Hmm. Oh, that's odd. <laughs> I think this might be one of Camille's last scenes, sadly. Aw. Aw. <laughs> Where could she have run off to? Hmm? She must be somewhere in the castle. This was once her home, after all. Perhaps there's something she wanted to see or do now that she's returned. Well... 
Hmm. Everything's okay. Don't worry, dude. We'll find her. But first, we need to locate all remaining soldiers and tell them that the war is over. Oh. Oh, you're right. We'll probably find her along the way. Let's do it. What is this strange feeling I have? I can't help feeling like I've seen Azura for the last time. Hmm. I'm probably just wound up from the battle. That's all. You and me both, dude. You and me both. <laughs> Can you believe his honor was that good? I was explicitly told that his skill was bad. What happened? <laughs> ah, from here forward, let it be known that Garon, King of Nor, is to be succeeded by Prince Xander, Nor's crown prince and rightful heir. King Xander will rule over Nor and guide us all in a new era of peace. Please, my liege, accept this crown as a symbol of your reign. Hmm. Why does he get to be prince? I should be ruler. <laughs> Did you see that? I'm the one who beat talking me. Thank you, Gunter. As king, I vow to rule with dignity and kindness. And always lead our beloved Nord down the path of peace. Big brother. Woo, Xander, yeah, we love you, man. Woo! Xander, you're a king now. I've never met anyone more worthy of that title than you. Except for maybe me. Yes. <laughs> yes, the role suits you nicely. Here's to a fresh start for the kingdom of Nord. With you at the helm, I know our kingdom will rise to greatness once more. True. I just know our Xander will bring hope and prosperity back to the land. Hmm. I wish Azura could have seen Xander's coronation ceremony. Are they not explicitly going to say? Uh. Me too, Elise. I can't believe she ran off like that right when we finally won the war. I can't imagine why she left. But I hope wherever she is that she's happy. Oh, she's dead. Uh. Huh, if she was going to leave us, she could have at least said goodbye. Instead, she disappeared like a wave upon the ocean. Fitting, I suppose. Like a wave upon the ocean. <gasps> oh, oh, it looks like Xander's about to make a speech. Haha. <laughs> yes. His first speech is king. Let's listen very quietly, Elise. Okay. And you too, Deltra, shut the fuck up for one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fine. Is it a CG? No, it's not really. What is that face? You have my gratitude. Oh. <laughs> it looks like. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no. Tr not trying to get demonetized. <laughs> it's his old face, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, fellow Norians, for joining me in my celebration today. The war is finally over, and we have formed a new alliance with Hoshino. Though once enemies, our kingdoms will now strive for peace together. Since the war began and long before, both Nor and Hoshino were in agony. Freedoms were oppressed, possessions were plundered, the land was rabid. Rebellions and uprisings tore our great kingdom apart. Our world was in pain. I never wish to see that happen again. Not to anyone. I won't allow it. As such, all tribes and other peoples of Nor shall be granted autonomy. We will not seek to expand our borders by infringing upon Hoshin and land. Instead, we shall strive to build a foundation of trust. Both kingdoms will do all we can to plant a seed of mutual respect. In the years to come, I look forward to watching that seed grow. We have a long road ahead of us. It will not be easy, but it is worth treading. On this day, as I assume my father's throne, I vow to steady our course. The night sky is dark. <laughs> really? <laughs> but that is what allows the stars to shine so brilliantly. As king, I hope to be the light that guides Nor out of this long night. I swear I will not rest until our beloved home awakens to a brighter tomorrow. We're the kingdom of darkness if you missed that. For the great people of Nor, here's to a future of prosperity and peace. Big brother. That was a beautiful speech, Xander. I'm certain we'll be able to do what father never had the chance to. We're going to build the kind of world that people can live happily in. Someday in the far off future, people will sing songs about all this. Nicely done! That was amazing, Xander. You sounded just like a king. You're so cool, big brother. Elise, need I remind you that technically- Yes, I know. Keep your voice down, and stop waving your arms like a fool. Are you actively trying to bring shame on the entire royal family? <laughs> oh, calm down, Leo. Why not let her be? In any case, your voice got rather loud as well. Everyone's staring at you. <clears throat> ah, well. <laughs> <laughs> Check out that nasty stare Gunter's giving you. We're all going to have to get an earful about this later. <clears throat> if I can have everyone's attention. The coronation ceremony is now complete. As is this game. May King Xander reign in... <laughs> King Xander reign in glory over our great kingdom forever. 
King Xander, how wonderful. How wonderful indeed. Where's Sonoka? Isn't she in this? Not really looking forward to that, man. Well done, Xander. <sighs> what do you think, little princess? Did I sound like a worthy king? Yes. Absolutely. Your speech was inspiring, and you look so cool and powerful up there. You should have heard the fuss Elise was making. <sighs> yeah, but mean old Gunter scolded me about it afterwards. Oh, oh darling. But his lecture only lasted a minute or two. He went easy on you. What? There she is. Ah. <laughs> Get ready for the throat pain, I guess. I don't know. He looked pretty ticked off to me. Well, um... I would have cried my eyes out after a lecture like that. Uh... Hinoka, Sakura, I'm so happy to see you. Thanks for coming today. No. No thanks required, dude. Our kingdom signed a permanent peace treaty, so we can visit whenever we want. Of course, I'd be here for such a big event. I'll come running whenever you need me. Thank you. Haha, <laughs> I know. Thank you. Hey, Sakura, did you see me waving at you? Did you? Yes. Y yes, but isn't that part of why you got scolded? Your excessive waving. <gasps> so you heard about all that, stupid Gunter. <laughs> I thought you looked energetic and happy, just as a princess should. But I hope that you act like that's hurt so much. But I hope that you act just a bit more refined at my coronation ceremony. Okay. <laughs> if you insist. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> so, are you to be the next queen of Hoshino Hinoka? Sorry about that time I tried to kill you. That's lovely. You'll make a truly stunning queen. Oh yeah, she was hitting on her. I forgot about that. It's all been a really challenging for Hinoka. She's training to behave more like a queen, but it's going terribly. Huh? Sakura, don't go around telling people like that. I just can't help it. I never thought it would fall to me to rule Hoshino. I always took it for granted that Ryoma would eventually be king. And after him, I suppose I expected to pass the honor on to Takami. It's a serious problem. I've started smoking six packs a day. Just now? Yeah, why? <laughs> why do you ask? I never had any interest on the throne. My brothers were the born leaders. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. sorry. I like Inoka. Just, just let me do my thing, man. I've earned it. I'm so sorry, Hinoka. I miss them too. <gasps> Dude! No, it's fine. It, it is what it is. To be honest, I still battle with the feelings of hatred towards the Norian army. The way they violated our kingdom for so many years. I won't soon forget it. But in time, I know that even those wounds will heal. I trust you and Xander to prevent such things from ever happening again. In my heart, I know that Ryoma and Takumi don't hold any grudges either. Big sister. Hinoka. But... You should know, however, that there are many Hoshinans who still don't trust you. I mean, good, right? Why would they? I will do all I can to convince the masses, but change won't come easy. Yeah, it's gonna be really hard to convince literally an entire population of people that Garon really was a slime monster. That's the only way that they can really win them over, I feel. I advise that all of you exercise caution when visiting Hoshido. Hmm. Understood. After all the evil that has been done in the name of Nor, it's only natural. The lives that my kingdom has taken are a burden I shall bear for the rest of my life. The blood that was spilled, the tears that fell, the hearts that were broken. For all of that and more, I am truly sorry. Knock it off! Please, Prince, uh, I mean, King Xander, you can't take the blame for all that. As queen, it will be my job to help clear up our misconceptions about Norians. It will take time, but it will happen. I'll make sure of it. I'll do my best to help out, too. Uh. Hinoka, Sakura. <laughs> Dude, when tensions finally subsided, no, uh, Hoshino, I mean, uh, well, I want you to feel free to return to the castle anytime you want. Ryoma and Takumi may not be there anymore, but we are. I want you to feel at home there so we can all spend time together as siblings. Yes. Thank you, Hinoka. I promise to come visit often. Come on. Good. Well, it's getting late. We should be heading out. On behalf of Hoshino, allow me to thank you for inviting us here today. Sakura, will you please fetch my Pegasus? Yes. Sure. I look forward to seeing you all at the coronation ceremony in Hoshido. You know it! I can't wait. See you soon. Off they go. Hmm. Yes, but you'll see them again soon. They are your siblings, after all. Right. Yes, I'm truly blessed to have so many wonderful siblings in my life. And now I can spend as much time as I want to with all of them. <laughs> Shall we head to the banquet now? Huh? Banquet? What banquet? Oh. oh, right. This is your first time at an important Norian event. In Nor, whenever something big happens at the castle, we hold a royal banquet. But this time, it's going to be a huge event that spans the whole capital. Xander decided he wants to provide food for the whole town, not just the royals. Now everyone can celebrate the occasion and enjoy the banquet together. <gasps> wow, that sounds amazing. Right? Doesn't it? I'm going to serve up yummy food to all kinds of different people. Oh, Hooray! Dear. But you can't carry it all by yourself, right? I'll go with you. <laughs> I, for one, shall busy myself by entertaining the lords and ladies. Oh, Leo, the ladies. Oh, no, I didn't support him with Nyx before that. No. 
You're a taken man, what are you doing? You must not neglect making a good impression on them as well. Listen up. I'm counting on all of you tonight. I doubt I'll be able to stray too far from the throne. All right! Time to get cooking and show everyone the true meaning of Norian cuisine. Uh, I'll make sure to set us down a few plates of your favorite foods, milady. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what kind of foods are served at a Norian banquet. <laughs> the capital is brimming with jubilation. This is the Norian I've always dreamed of. Please, I don't need something from everybody. I just... <laughs> Not everybody is that important. Everybody is a retainer. We know what they do. <laughs> this is going to be perfect. Let's all enjoy ourselves tonight. Seeing Nor filled with so many smiling faces is a dream come true. We sacrificed so much to arrive at this victory. We're now happily celebrating. The path I chose was difficult. God, yeah, yeah it was. So difficult. Next time I think I'll choose birthright. <laughs> but now I know it wasn't the wrong one. Even if a path looks dark up ahead, you must keep walking until you see the light. Thank you, all of you, for believing in me. Having all of you here at my sides fills my heart with joy. Where's my CG, man? Oh, we're gonna walk off on <sighs> our own, I guess? Yeah, are they actually gonna address what happens with Azura or what? Because she's... She's very dead. <laughs> Phew, seems like everyone's... Uh, everyone seems to be having a great time at the banquet. Doesn't seem like it'll be stopping anytime soon. I better take a little break. Hmm, this place. It reminds me of the lake where I first met Azura. I wonder where she is right now. Azura. Huh? <laughs> that song! It, wait, she's alive still? I thought... Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, when I first played through the end of Conquest, I don't Azura. know if I actually watched the ending or not. I, I think I must have, though, because... But I, don't, I don't remember any of this. Azura. It's really you. You've come back. Where have you been all this time? Azura? Azura? Hey. Hello, dude. What do you think of my song? Pretty well, cool, huh? Uh, what do I think of it? Uh, it's very pretty? I see. I see. Wrong answer. <laughs> she just stabs me. Game over. But if you listen carefully, you might sense a power you didn't notice before. Oh. Oh. Really? Truly. Yes, I'm sure you'll feel it this time. Close your eyes and listen with your heart. Huh? But I don't have a heart. <laughs> Go on. Oh. Well, still. Please, dude. Just do as I say. Understood. Okay. Azura, I'm really happy you decided to come back to us. Just having you by my side again reminds me of all we've been through. You are always there for me, even when my whole world was falling apart. If it weren't for you, I probably would have died a long time ago. To me, you're... Gone, aren't you? Azura? Was that an illusion? Thank you! What? Was it? I... Was it her spirit, I guess? I... 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 So... Forget the story of this game, man. <laughs> Missed opportunity. I think I saw that exact comment on, if not the last part, then the part before that, but somebody has said... This is basically missed opportunity of the game, and I wholeheartedly agree. I know I've said the same exact thing myself in a video before, so I'm not going to spend any time complaining about this. That is not what this is about. We are done. That's, what's th that's what this is about, man. <laughs> this has been one hell of a ride. Thank you, dude. I know we'll meet again one day. Azura. Azura. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure we will. And when we do, I'll tell you how much you mean to me. Hey. Dude, enjoying some alone time, are we? I'm about to lead a group of nobles into town. Will you join us? <laughs> of course. Sounds fun. Hey, Xander, wait up. <laughs> Don't you dare leave without me. Corin, the star of the show. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> Seriously? I forgot all about that. Oh, oh man. Did you oversleep again? Better hurry up then. You're just in time. You've always had a gift for that. No doubt you always will. <laughs> <laughs> what is up with this weird enemy gasp thing? Everybody's like, <laughs> There was no Probably the most enemy thing war. I've ever seen. In fact, 
only madness and greed. War is monstrous. We are told to make war to support our country. But it's a lie told by those who profit from bloodshed. In my reign as Nor's new king, I vow to seek peace and understanding. <laughs> With you to guide my hand. <sighs> okay, so somebody had actually brought up the cinematography point back when Ryoma bit the dust. I'm not going to spend too much time on the story, it's really just not worth it. <laughs> but somebody had brought that up back when Ryoma bit the dust, and... It is kind of weird having that first person perspective. I think that the Ryoma thing still worked out. Oh, could this be some kind of glitch? There's no music. I feel like there's supposed to be. <laughs> well... At any rate, I totally see why that would be weird. Because that was the cheesiest thing I've ever seen. Like, come on, man. You couldn't just let it be. I thought that Xander was supposed to be the man of the hour. So for that last one to be about corn is a little suspect, I'm not going to lie to you all. Uh, maybe I will just edit in some music at this point because it is really kind of awkward. I'm just talking to myself and this is it's throwing me for a loop, man. It most certainly is. So now we're going to get our turn counts, I suppose. And like I say, what really needs to be said about the story that I have not already said, I don't really feel as though my opinion on it has changed all that much. I understand it better. I definitely understand it better, but that doesn't mean I all of a sudden think that this is the greatest story ever told or anything like that. Lots of glaring flaws. Lots of glaring flaws. And uh, the whole Corrin thing gets old real quick, honestly. And it's true she starts taking a little bit more initiative towards the end, but man, I, I say it's still too little too late, even for me. Even at this point, I still don't see myself having changed my mind on that at all. I certainly don't feel as though I have. The rest of the game though, right? <laughs> The music is really good. Most certainly, I, I really like End of All. It's a, a really killer final map theme, and I like the fact that it actually integrates Azura as a dancer, or as a singer, rather, into that whole thing. Because that is her singing on the final battle. That's what's going on. If she dies there, even in classic mode, she just retreats. I mean, I think she always just retreats, but she specifically says, I, I think she even has like a special quote or whatever, where she's like, oh no, I can't lose on this map, da 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 da, or something like that. So yeah, it is actually her singing. Which is a really cool effect. It's a really cool effect that blends gameplay with story. And more of that would have been nice, to be honest. She had those abilities before. And, like, for example, when we go to Kana's map, she doesn't do the whole singing thing. Like, because she did that to uh, D Transform Corrin, right? So she didn't do that to Kana. Okay, I said I wasn't going to talk about the story. Forget the story. Great music. Great music, though. Lots of bangers in the soundtrack, to be sure. The gameplay. If you were to ask me, I would say that this is the second hardest game. I know some people would say Shadow Dragon, but let's not forget the Warp Staff. And while it's true you don't have to use the Warp Staff, the fact that it exists so freely, it is so easily abused. Like the, the top level strategies in this game are way, way harder to understand than click Warp Staff, kill boss, click Warp Staff again, beat map. Anybody can do that. I'm pretty sure that everybody understands that that is a possibility. Whether or not everybody chooses to do it is one thing. And I'm not taking away from people who like optimize that crap or whatever. That's that's a different story. Like low turn counts, that is that's hard as balls. <laughs> just to make sure that you have everything in order like that. But to just do it once or twice, anybody can do that at any point. So the hardest map in that game is really only as hard as you want it to be. Whereas this game actively goes out of its way to force you to play by its own rules several times over. Mechanically, it's just a strict upgrade from Awakening as well as far as I'm concerned. Everything is handled better here, with the pair-ups, that is. <sighs> Not talking about the story, Deldre, come on! <laughs> Everything with the gameplay, though, is... it just feels better. It's more consistent, it's easier to understand, in my opinion. Well, eh, that's debatable, I guess. But it's easier to take advantage of because uh, the parent mechanics are no longer reduced to RNG. If you didn't play Awakening, for all four of you, I guess. <laughs> if you didn't play Awakening in that game, attack stance and guard stance were both determined by RNG the same way as a hit might be. Obviously not the case here. Obviously not the case here. And I think that is such a huge strategical improvement because now you can always count on getting the attack stance you need. And you can always count on getting the guard stance you need. 
if you are intelligent about uh, building shield gauge and things like that. So that is a strict upgrade. The stat bonuses themselves have been nerfed as well, which I didn't really get into that too much. But I think that has a better influence on the overall balance of this game. It's almost like New Mystery in a way, where the caps at the end sort of determine a lot of what's going on there. We didn't see that so much necessarily here, but for example, if I wanted to double certain enemies, like like if I want Moses to double a Master Ninja, let's say, that's probably the first example that comes to my mind. Well, they have 37 speed. She only has a uh, a speed cap of 32 as a Kinshi. I'm not sure what the sniper is, but just bear with me on this. So that means that if, even if she were to be paired up with a Sword Master, which I believe would give her the highest speed bonus, potentially Kaze. One of the two. At any rate, she would need one of the highest speed pair ups and a rally to do it. And that's because of her stat cap. So that's pretty cool. I Not every single enemy on that map has the same level of detail. It's not quite as crazy as uh, New Mystery, which is why I say this is the second hardest game, not the hardest game. But. <sighs> Arthur and Camilla. Yeah, three turns. I thought that was supposed to be a hard map. What happened? <laughs> At any rate, I don't think it's as hard as New Mystery. A little bit more forgiving, but still a very, very challenging game in its own right. Without a doubt. I don't know. Do I have really too much else to add? I don't know. I just... It's been a really fun playthrough. I gotta say that right now. It's been an absolute blast. So many <laughs> memorable things happened here. I... It's hard for me to pick just one. It's hard for me to pick just one, honestly. Alright, character victories. Benny, my man. So sorry that you had 0-0. Zero, zero. Benny returned to his hometown village and was assigned to trade new soldiers in combat. He never reported for duty. Instead, he lived out his days in the forest, frolicking with his animal friends. And that is why Benny is the greatest. <laughs> yeah, so many... Just so, so much fun with this playthrough, though, honestly. Despite the fact that Fates might not be my favorite overall game, you guys made it a lot more fun, that's for sure. Lots of trivia. You guys were way into it, and that made it really fun for me as well. Hopefully you guys had a great time with this one yourselves. And if I'm going to be honest, <laughs> if I'm going to pick the most hype moment, at least in recent memory, that final map, <laughs> I thought I was done. I thought I was done, guys. I thought I did 37 times two. So, <laughs> oh, that was good stuff. That was, I can't believe that. I can't believe that happened. And man, Izana was so clutch with that Peace Bringer dude. So clutch. That was <laughs> I can't believe that turned out to be the game changer, dude. So yeah, final map, <laughs> my favorite part. Not because it's over, but because that was bonkers, man. And honestly, for as not serious as the story is in this game, the fact that I know that I'm not going to be taking it seriously makes it a lot of fun to just mess around, though, with, honestly. And just make up your own story, because... Honestly, I feel like almost anybody in the comments could do better, <laughs> in some ways. And the characters, though, the characters, I will say that, they, they can be fun. They can definitely be fun. I had a good time with a lot of these guys. And we're not done just yet, of course. We still got to do all the kid paralogs that we have missed. And I kind of wanted to try and get some DLC to work. I'm not sure if it will or will not. Uh, just one or two maps, really. But if I can get it to work, I probably will. To hell with Perry. Speaking of characters, though, for every character that I, that, that I can find some entertainment value in, there is also... Perry. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say for every character, but there's enough parries, in my opinion. One is too many. <laughs> no lie, one parry drags everybody down. But if you ignore her, then I think that the rest of the characters can be a lot of fun. Even somebody like Charlotte is fun for me because I hate her. <laughs> and that's the point. That's the point. She's a gold digger, so it's like, why would I like her? You know what I mean? And they wrote her appropriately, as far as I'm aware. She's one of those types, but they wrote her well enough. And I don't think that everybody needs to be chivalrous at heart. I don't think that everybody needs to be a good person at heart, you know what I mean? Now, it could be that inner supports, I guess, technically. It could be that the game bends over backwards to make her seem like a good person, but I haven't seen those. So for right now, in my own little bubble, Charlotte is fine. 
and I do honestly prefer characters that aren't all sunshine and rainbows anyways. So, there's fun to be had with the characters in this game, I definitely think. Oh, Odin's another good example. I can see where he would be annoying, but I just, I like making fun of him for being such an idiot. <laughs> I don't know, man. There are no official records of stor or stories of Azura from after the war. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely supposed to be music here. I'll have to figure out what it was supposed to be and edit that in after the fact. More on characters, though. The balance between them all is quite, quite good. Quite good. There's really no losers to pick from here. Everybody can do everything. Well, not everybody can do everything, but everyone can do something, which is just so huge. That's just so huge. That is more than I can say about just about every Fire Emblem that there ever was. Maybe, maybe New Mystery, you could argue that, but only on a repeat playthrough of that game. Only on a repeat playthrough once you can buy Lunatic Stat Booster Store stuff. Here in Fates, though, Conquest specifically, don't even starve me on Rev, dude. I could, I could do an entire series on why that game is obnoxious to me, but I digress. Character balance in Conquest, phenomenal. Phenomenal. Everybody can do something. No Wendy's, no Sophia's, no Wolfguard, goddammit. <laughs> The only thing I will say about the characters uh, that hasn't really already been said is that I wish that they weren't all retainers. I wish that they weren't all retainers. I don't want to. <laughs> I, I am. I'm trying so hard to stay away from the story, but that is that is one thing that I definitely wish uh, would be fixed. It's something that I'm a little bit concerned about with three houses potentially. I don't really know anything about the game. And I'm not going to know anything about the game. I I did see. A few people asking stuff about it, like if I am going to do uh, news updates and stuff. No, I'm not because I don't, I don't want to know anything about the game. I haven't said that before. Uh, so this is your first time hearing that, obviously. So I'm not mad about anybody talking about it up until this point, and I will, I'll make a better effort to start the next video with that because. <laughs> okay, yeah. But at any rate, I am not, I'm not doing any of that because I, I want to know nothing about the game. I found that it was a lot more fun for me to play a recent game that I was looking forward to, Totally Blind. And it turned out that if I would have followed all the, all the updates and crap, I probably would have ended up disappointed, to be honest. But when I was playing it for myself, completely blind, unlike just about everybody else that played it, it seemed, because everybody else was pissed, I had a grand old time. I still saw a lot of the problems and agreed with a lot of the uh, criticisms after the fact, but bottom line, it just ruins things for me when I know well in advance everything there is to know. So I'm avoiding that game like the plague as of right now, and that's just kind of where it stands because I feel like the playthrough that I do for that game will be better if I know nothing about it, honestly. Now, King Xander helped usher in a new era of peace. While he ruled justly, his radical policies were unpopular. Really? With much of the population. Scholars admit that this was necessary for the era of growth that followed. See, I wish I would have seen more about that. That sounded kind of interesting. I don't know. There is some interesting concepts with this game that I just, I just wish they were fleshed out on a little bit more. I know I'm not the only one that feels that way. I'm kind of beating a dead horse on that subject, but... One other thing that kind of gets on my nerves, okay. Okay, I know, let's let's end on a negative note, I guess. One thing that kind of gets on my nerves, though, is the absolutely ridiculous amount of fan service at times. Why, oh why, are the girl paladins and assless chaps? Why? <laughs> why? Why? Hey, don't get me wrong, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? But there's a time and place for everything. It's like these guys didn't play Gen 1 Pokemon or something. Didn't you listen to Professor Oakman? He said, quite explicitly, and I quote, There is a time and place for everything, dumbass. I assume that everybody names their trainer dumbass. At any rate, I really hope that that sort of thing is toned down in the future. I know it's not even the same artist. In fact, the last three games haven't had the same artist. But, God forbid we get to an ultimate climactic moment like that. And it's just a camera shot of their ass, man. It just, <laughs> it just takes you right out of it. There was nothing they could have done at this point. 
If you get to the final map as a paladin, you will never take this game seriously. It's impossible. If you get there as a girl paladin, you can't do it. You can't do it. It can't be done. <laughs> like I said, I would make that the thumbnail, but I'm not trying to get demonetized. No, no. I'm a little bit smarter than that. Now, Leo was a kick-ass unit, huh? 51 victories. Not too bad. I'm just waiting for Camilla. Did I miss her? I hope not. I want to see Camilla and I want to see Corrin. Whoa! <laughs> Bozu the beast. 69 victories. Yeah, these endings would have been different had I... Had I gotten more of the kids beforehand. But they're... They're very broken. They're very broken. That wouldn't have even been close, I'm sure. Had I gotten them. In fact, if I would have just gotten Forrest and then replaced Dwyer with Forrest, that would have been that. Like, straight up. There would have been no need for Rizana strats or anything like that. So which is more fun, honestly. Silas, though. This kid was a beast. I, honest to God, did not think I would be fielding him on the last map. I really didn't. I, I think I even said way back in uh, Keaton's join map that he was starting to fall off. And that was... That was forever ago, and yet he's still pulled through. Yeah, this is the only paired ending that we're getting, I think, besides uh, Camilla and Arthur. There are no official records of Odin from after the war, but much was written about and by him, naturally. His wife, Elise, also disappeared from public record, but no doubt grew to a remarkable woman, who was also a little bit batshit insane for marrying Odin, as far as I'm concerned. The hapless hero in the bewitching beauty. And also, <laughs> I, I really hoped it. There's not like an overabundance of S supports in the next game. I know that might be sacrilege, but well, I, I guess it depends. I guess it depends on how they're handled, honestly. Like I said, I, I know literally nothing of it. She only had 190 wins. That's kind of crazy. Who is who? Oh, never mind. Who is who? Yeah, I wonder if Jacob got 211 battles with his nine speed. Uh, Jacob served as a butler for the rest of his life, but his true love was reserved for his wife alone. Dude was hailed as a hero, working alongside her spouse to spread peace worldwide. Well, gosh and golly gee, aren't we just the greatest? Aren't we just the greatest? So there's our happy ending. The end. Good game. Been a lot of fun, man. Really it has. I feel kind of let down by you guys. You told me that map was hard. <laughs> God, I'm such an asshole. I'm such an asshole, man. The end. Oh yeah, you can... I forgot, you can bring over these characters to your next playthrough. I, I think that's what this... I don't use the My Castle. Like, if that wasn't clear, I... Like, even when I played uh, for myself, all three routes on my other DS, I guess. <laughs> I didn't really use the My Castle feature that much. But as I recall, you can save five units and instantly be able to recruit them and or skill buy off of them. Maybe it's just... Maybe it's just skill buying. If somebody in the comments knows, feel free to correct me. It might just be skill buying. Anyways, guys, with that all said, it has been a ton of fun. I really love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. You guys were absolutely amazing with the amount of support that you guys showed for this series. And honestly, I, I don't know how to say it without sounding like a lame, so I'm just going to say it. I, I truly appreciate you guys. This was just, this was way too much fun. Easily the most fun I have ever had with Fire Emblem Fates, and I feel like you guys were a very large part of that. Even throughout the hiatus, I mean, just the fact that you guys came back still so invested, it, it means, it means the world to me, honestly. So, <laughs> you know what, man? No, 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 screw this, screw this. I am not soft. Anyways, next time, we're going to start the, <laughs> love you guys. Next time, we're going to start the kids' paralogs. Uh, I'll be doing Leo first, then Ignatius, just because I like... Le uh, not Leo. I'll be doing Forrest first, then Ignatius, just because I like Forrest that much. Hope you guys don't mind. Anyways, I will catch you guys on the next one. See you then. Peace.